back, DBTV fans. I'm Regina Lynn, and I'm so excited because Black Tie Dinner is back. We didn't have this event last year, but this year we are here, and it's the 40th annual Black Tie Dinner. Let's go check it out. Over the years that I've been here, I think Black Tie is, is an event where obviously it's LGBTQIA plus community. And I think the point of it is that we can kind of like come into this space and celebrate who we are, celebrate our cause. Um, and like they say all, you know, throughout their speeches and just to be visible. Um, I think it's a great opportunity to uh, obviously give back to the community and to help our initiatives and um, support people who need to be supported. So. I think it's just about community. I think it's about everybody kind of getting together if it's just one night out of the year and just like celebrating who we are. native of Texas and the Black Tie Dinner has a long-standing reputation of being such a great ally for our community, a great resource and just a great supporter. So I'm happy to be here. It is my first time being honored though, so hallelujah. My overall feeling is joy. It is so joyous to be able to come together once again, especially for an important organization, an important cause. So tonight has been phenomenal. Black Tie Dinner is very important to our community because it showcases the real support, not only from people from our LGBTQ community, but also our allies, businesses, and supporters. And honestly, if you've never experienced this kind of love, you should definitely attend Black Tie. Dallas Voice Black Tie 2021, baby. So this is your last Black Tie, right? Yes, correct, my last one. 10 years on the board and my last one uh, in charge, so it felt amazing. Had you considered quitting previously? Oh my gosh, I thought I was rolling out to advisory at one point, but then I got talked into staying on active and I'm so glad I did because I was able to do tonight. Was tonight a little special because of 
the way it was last year? It was because the pandemic really kind of took us to a place where we had to cancel all our events. And this year, we were able to come full force and have so many people here and celebrate in a way that we couldn't have before last year. How much has it changed in the 10 years that you've been doing it? Oh my gosh, so much so, but only for the better because the people before us really paved the way for all of us to do what we're doing now. So from a small ballroom of $6,000 to over $26 million, that's a lot. As you close this chapter, I mean, 10 years is a decent chunk of time. Yeah. How do you feel? Tired, ecstatic, um, hungry, I've not eaten in three days, and sleepy, but proud, most of all proud. Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Incredible entertainment tonight. We've had some amazing award recipients, and we're so thankful, not only to them, but to the community for their support. We've raised a lot of money for all of our local beneficiaries, and of course, our national beneficiary human rights campaign. Black Tie Dinner is back, and of course, we're gonna be back next year with an incredible lineup of entertainment and fun, but for now, from the local scene to your digital screen. I'm Regina Lynn, thanks for watching.